help us understand what this farm was like when you guys got here and compare it to what it looks like now. Um, I, I'm laughing because uh, it was really very poor. We were growing in our knowledge, our understanding of what the potential was. What we didn't know was that it had incurred what we now refer to as a huge ecological debt. It was a bicentennial farm that had changed hands four times in the 20 years before we bought it. It had been set stocked, it had been plowed relentlessly, the hillsides were plowed and left. We were looking at organic matters of 2%, wild soil imbalances. My good friend, another farmer, he grew up here, he let the cows go, he's watched this farm his whole life. When I told him about the process of the farm waking up and things happening and positive things. And he said, I can't believe you guys have made it. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to tell you how poor the farm was because I thought you'd quit. He said, I watched them farm there for my whole life. And he said, nothing went back on that land. Nothing happened there to improve that farm. So what you've done is really remarkable. Now you fast forward to You've got people digging in the soil. What did you do? This is amazing. And uh, yeah, it's kind of emotional actually. <laughs> Congratulations. <It's Thanks>. Amazing. <laughs> That's why it's so important that we partner with the Savory Institute. 